Hi readers, I'm Lori. Welcome back to my channel, Books, Ink, and Paper. I spent an entire 30 minutes doing a book chat, I feel like, 20 minutes for sure, and I think I lost it somehow. My laptop is not converting files the way it should, so I'm going to try this one and see if it works, and if not, I may not be posting anything this week, seriously. Okay, so today we're going to do something I've watched some other people do for a while, and it looks like so much fun, and I'm going to give it a try, and this will guide one of my reads for June. So this will be a read that ends up on my TBR for next month. It is a scavenger hunt, so you start with prompt one and go through all the way to the 10th prompt where you will end up with the book that you're meant to read. It sounds confusing, but Peter Loves Books did it first, and I think somebody else did it. Books and Lala did it a while ago. I think Sarah Swan did it the other day. A couple other people I've seen have done it. So it's a bit complex. There'll be some edits, but let's give it a shot and see what I'm going to read next. All right, so prompt number one is grab your favorite book, go to the acknowledgements, and the first name you see, find a book by an author with the same name. Okay. So one of my favorite books is actually right here. So let's see if there are acknowledgements, because I've watched a few people do this tag, and there aren't always. Uh, not in the front. You know, everybody's Sort of different about that. Hmm. So there's sources. Acknowledgement. Hmm. Lieutenant Colonel M. Keach. So there's no um, M. But the next one is Squadron Leader Stephen Beto. So Stephen. So find a book with Stephen as the author. So that's easy. Stephen King. Whoa. <laughs> Stephen King. That must be where I was when I last read this. Okay. So now pick something on that cover and find another book with the same thing in the title. Oh, that'll be hard. It's a clown. Um, do I have another book with a clown in the title? Um... Um, oh. okay, let's do this because <laughs> I think that that is impossible for me. So let's, I don't want to fail right off. So let's go with Mr. Mercedes, which actually has a picture of an umbrella. That might work. Let's see. If I have another book with an umbrella on it. What? I don't have that book. An umbrella. Look at my dog stuff. Okay. I think there's that. It's a little green book, maybe, that has a little umbrella on it. All right. Stephen King's just not going to work. I have no <laughs> books with a clown or an umbrella on the cover. So let's put him away. Stephen Ambrose. I have books by Stephen Ambrose. Okay, I have Citizen Soldiers. So then I need to find another book with this thing on the cover and that thing is Soldiers. So that's easy for me because I have a lot of books about war. <laughs> So I have Tim O'Brien, The Things They Carried, More Soldiers. Okay, now go to page 50, line 5. Pick a word from that line and find a title with that word. I am really frightened that this is going to be harder than it was for other people. And I have a lot of books. 
All right, page 50, line five. One, two, three, four, five. Counting meals. This makes four nights, right? Okay, counting meals. This makes four nights. Um, four nights, meals. Uh, <laughs> four nights, meals. All right, I'll go with night. That'll work. The Peril of Night by James Runcie. Okay, now find a five-star read with the same colors on the cover. So this is blue, black, and white. I would die if this had an umbrella on it. And I, I looked. It doesn't, but I'm just saying. Okay. <laughs> All right, blue, black, and white. Five star read, blue, black, and white. Five star read for me was Kate Atkinson of five, was transcription a five star read for me? I think it was, let me look. It was four, really? <laughs> All right, five star read for me, I haven't finished that. Black. Blue. Definitely, I'm sure this was a five star read for me. I gotta look though, because I don't want to say it was, and then you guys look and it wasn't. I haven't even rated it. And I finished it. Oh, good lord. It was a five star read for me, but now I feel like that's cheating. Um, uh, a five star read, black cover, or blue, cover, the post mistress is blue and white, is that a five star read for me? Five star, post mistress, by Sarah Blake, loved it, okay, find a book with the same number of pages as this book. Oh, good Lord. Okay, 326. I'm gonna have to go to Goodreads for this. Oh my God, I found one. Do I own it? That's the question. Do I own it? Oh, shoot me now. I don't own it. Right, what's near that one? Don't own any of those. 322. I may have to go with the closest. That's the only one I have that would be 326 pages, and I must have read it on audiobook. What do I have to do? You have to open the book. So I'm going to have to go with the only one that I have. That's 325, and that's I'll Be Your Blue Sky by Maria de los Santos, and I have that on Kindle. So I can open up to that page. Flip open to any page. <laughs> First name you see, find a book by an author who shares that name. All right, I'll Be Your Blue Sky. I loved that book, by the way. I'll just go to page. I'll do a go to page. And I'll go a couple pages up, and I'll choose this page. And the first name you see, find a book by that author. So on this page, the first name I see is Joseph. Oh my goodness, Joseph. Okay, put this back, Joseph. I don't know that I have a book by anyone named Joseph anything. <laughs> Do I, Jonathan? Can you, Joe? Joseph. I don't know that I have a Joseph. I have no Joseph. Let me find the next. Let me just pick another page. It's all Joseph. <laughs> John. John. Okay. John. I can do. I'm sure of it. This is so ridiculously hard. John Fowles, a French lieutenant's woman. Okay. 
find another title with the same number of letters as the French lieutenant's woman. <sighs> Again, I just don't know what to say. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 25 letters. Another book with 25 letters. Hmm. All right, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. 25. Father Melancholy's Daughter by Gail Godwin. One of my favorites. Okay. Find a book with a similar cover. Oh my God. So it's got a women's feet and a sort of an animal biting her foot <laughs> um there's a women's legs but no animal biting anything um hmm. almost biting but it's a man's feet um good grief all right i think the closest i can find is Dead in the Family by Charlene Harris. She's, her feet are dangling and the vampire is coming in and maybe would bite her feet. <laughs> That's the best I can do, seriously. I just can't tell you how hard this is for me. I feel like this isn't so hard for other people. Yeah, that's the best I'm gonna do. Yeah, that's the best I'm gonna do. So, woman dangling feet hanging out, vampire. All right, flip to a random page, point at a word and find that word in a book title on your TBR shelf. Invitation, is that even possible? <laughs> Nothing I can think of, seriously, let me try again. Sun, 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 that will work. Son of a witch, which I think is book two. Yes, I read Wicked. How did this get so wet? Um, I read Wicked, I never read book two. I would normally say, let me reread Wicked because it's been so long, but I won't have time to do both. So I'll just, um, I'll just carry on. Son of a witch. Okay, so this is going to be added to my TBR for June. This is a Gregory Maguire fantasy retelling of sorts. 335 pages. Has map, which I love for um, Munchkin Land. It is um, the... Wicked was book one, which was about the Wicked Witch of the West um, and Dorothy. This is about Lear, and he's last seen hiding in the shadows of the castle after Dorothy did in the witch. Bruised, comatose, and left for dead in a gully, Lear is shattered in spirit as well as in form, but he is tended at the cloister of St. Glinda by the silent novice called Candle, who wills him back to life with her musical gifts. Okay, yes, son of a witch. <laughs> which is kind of how I feel about this whole scavenger hunt. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for joining me today. It was fun, even though it was nerve wracking and frustrating. I enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it too. If you've done a scavenger hunt, I'd love for you to post it in the comments below. I'd love to see it. I'll try to post Peter Love's books, uh, original one. He did it in a library, but you know, all of our libraries are closed. So a lot of people are doing it now just to, kind of spark some new reading, which definitely this was not on my purview for reading anytime soon. So I'm really kind of jazzed by that. That's fun. So thanks again for joining me. Happy reading. Bye. Mm -hmm.